well, yeah, th this is my cringy voice. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna, this, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to render a Roblox, char Roblox character because I don't want anybody asking. Um, there's a lot of other good tutorials on YouTube, like Spicy Sonya made one, or Sonya though, but I'll make one too because, you know, why not? I, why is my Wi-Fi loading but working? Okay. Um, so, let me, man, why is that? just okay so oh wait actually you know what <laughs> what oh that's not what i wanted to do okay so it's just gonna be a tutorial on how to render a character not like and bend their limbs and stuff not how to add hats and clothes and stuff because I was going to do that yesterday but it was like a 40 minute long video so that's not happening um so let's get right into it because I don't want to make a 20 minute long intro <coughs> sorry I'm sick okay so you want to open your Lightroom which is really important so you, I'll link the bones in the Lightroom in the description so and um, Sonny those tutorial, I guess. Yeah, I see I already made one, but that didn't work out, so. Um, it's not gonna be the one that I use because it's a friend's and I'm not gonna give that out because she gave it to me specifically just for me. It's like her Lightroom, not public, so. Um, it'll probably be in your downloads folder because you're downloading it from a browser, but wherever you download it from, it'll be there. It'll be called Unle Unequally Lightroom, so. This is for R12, which is a lot different from R13 and R17, so if you're going to do R13, I recommend signing you those tutorial. So, if this comes up, I don't know if it will. It probably won't on any equalities, but if you ever get a different Lightroom, don't worry about it. It's not going to affect it. So, okay. So, you want to open your Lightroom and then open your character model, and I'll just... I already have one, so... Once again, I might make a separate video or like, yeah, I'll probably just make a separate video maybe later or you'll just have to figure out how to make a character model because that'll make this video really long and I don't want that. So you can open your character model, which mine is right here, OBJ, not MTL. Make sure that the scale is set to one centimeter, not a hundred. I mean, oh my god, that was the complete opposite, please. I'm sorry. Make sure the scale is set to 100 centimeters, not 1, because if you just installed Cinema 40, it'll probably be set to 1. So, okay. So, what you want to do is, um, don't freak out because it looks like this. It's not going to look like that when you render it. You just have to get everything ready. <sighs> okay. So, what I do to figure out which material is for what is I just color it something random. So that's the, like, actual body. Oh my god, no, I don't want to open timeless, thank you very much. So I used a wig, so there's a separate texture for the wig, but that's... If you don't use a wig, then, you know. So you want to go into texture and find the texture. If you ju if you, if, this, if this is your first time, then, um... Um, you'll probably only have one picture, so just find which one it is. It's this one for me. Click no. I don't think it does anything if you click yes, but you know, just cause. And then go to the other texture. If you have one, you might have one if you used a gear or maybe if you added hats, you would, so. And if you use a wig, your hair texture will probably look something like this or that, so. And it'll obviously be the corresponding color, so. No, and then change the, oh yeah, I didn't tell you. Go to editor when you do a texture. I don't think this affects the outcome, but it looks better. Just go to editor and change texture preview size to no scaling. So do that on both. Okay, so now you want to select both by, I think, holding control or command and clicking on the other one or just clicking and highlighting them like that. Or you could just do it one by one, but it's just easier this way. And uncheck specular. 
And then this is the important part. Um, you can't bend her limbs if you don't do this. So go up. Go, go up to this part and then for me this bottom one is the wig and this top one is the head so don't do any hats or hair sorry don't do any hats or hair that you have um just don't do it on those so these ones are the body parts for me so i want to delete these two circles and whatever however you describe that that thing on all of those just not the head or hats or anything like that so if you want to do that you want to highlight them and press delete and then you want to only do this on the body parts again click all of them and press u and s at the same time sorry sometimes it might not work and then oops that's not the right thing Make sure it says subdivide at the top and then set subdivision to 3 if it isn't already and click OK. And then you're done. So now you have, now you're ready to do bones and stuff. So go to file and merge and then wherever you merge the bones. And okay. And then align them up to her body as if they were her actual bones. So like matching body this is what this is what makes your character move and bend um just align them kind of like that make sure they're centered correctly and then they won't it'll show above the shoulder so put it inside of her body it'll show above her shoulders a little bit most likely but don't worry because it's not going to show in the render. The bones don't show in the render, so you don't have to worry about that. So now, what you want to do <coughs> is just watch exactly what I do. So you want to click the torso, and then hold Command or Control, and select lower body, mid body, and upper body, and then go up to Character, Commands, and Bind, and then do that for every other limb, limb including the head and hats. But the thing is, is that this would usually be the right limb but it's actually the left because it's like kind of switched around with the bone so just remember that so left shoulder and so just watch me so that you make sure you do it right and then once you're done with that oops i moved a little bit sorry and then once you're done with that, you want to go to do the head, you want to click the head and then scroll down and do head and top of head. And make sure you do the head and hats separate because if you don't, it won't bind correctly and it won't work. So if you're going to turn her head at all, which you probably won't do if you want to make it look natural. So now it's all binded. So now you can start moving. So I'm just going to do it from an angle like this because this is what most of my renders are at. And then I just turn her head. So you want to go to rotate. Moving, I only do moving if I'm moving the head, which I usually would not be doing, or if I'm moving like the arms, which I usually do actually do. But otherwise you want to rotate everything. So go to head and rotate it however you want to if you're going to do it from an angle like this. If you're doing it from, from a front angle, maybe have her look up, but that's it. <clears throat> and then to bend her limbs, I recommend kind of moving it out a little bit depending on the pose and then go to elbow and bend the elbow so like let's give her a sassy pose so like if you want her to have like a sassy pose with her arm on her hip that's a, that's a little too bent with like her arm on her hip or something then just bend it a little more than i usually do in my videos which is just a little bit to give it a relaxed look so like if you want to give her just a relaxed stance that one i would what? Wait. Oh, I don't think I binded it. Or maybe it just didn't work or something. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't. Okay, sometimes that happens. Sorry. Okay. So, to give it more of a relaxed look, you just move it out a little bit, go to elbow, and then just bend it a teensy bit, and then it's a little more relaxed. And align her shoulder with her, with the top of her body. <coughs> and then to her to do more or you could do it this way where you bend oops that's the wrong 
platform. You bend the elbow forwards a little bit, but you can also just do it that way. So on the legs to do my the pose I usually do, I don't know why I do it, I just do. I just kind of do it like that, like the relaxed arm pose, and then for this leg, I just move it back a little bit, and then I move it that back, and I actually move it forward a little bit after because I usually bend it back too much. And then you have just kind of a relaxed pose, and you can move her mid body. Don't do the upper or bottom; it just looks weird. If you do the bottom, it turns her entire body just a little bit. If you're gonna like turn her that way or forwards or backwards, because otherwise it kind of looks weird. So like, I'll have her forwards and then just turning that way a little bit. And then you want to go, so I'm done. So you want to go up to this button right here and go to save and select to your output. I have, okay. I just name it tutorial two, because you know. And then click this button right here, this middle button. And just don't don't like move it or zoom in or anything because it kind of speeds up the rendering process. And I noticed for some reason, maybe it's just me or something. It looks worse. I don't know. When this when it's done rendering in the pic picture viewer, the edges might look a little less bad quality and stuff. But don't worry, it looks a lot better in Photoshop. I'll just show you in a second. But or whatever. Pr editing program you use you don't have to use photoshop so then there you go you have your render so just to show you how it looks in like photoshop so that i can assure you oops. oh that's nice Anyways, just, I won't even say the sizes, just look up Roblox ad sizes if you're doing an ad. I don't know why it's doing that, just let it do it. Okay, so for a group logo, I usually do 500 times 500 and it works fine. Roblox ad sizes, like I said, just look that up, I'm not going to tell you. So do that and then just open your render. It's transparent, not black, don't worry. I already have our under something. Um, real too. And then you can see we have her. It's it looks a lot nicer than it looked in the picture here, so don't worry about that. And then just paste it. And position it and size it however you want to. And there you go. That's how you render a Roblox character, so <clears throat> If you enjoyed, the, oh, I'm gonna use the cheesy YouTuber ending. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna add something. If you don't want to, don't, because I don't like how they're like, I will force you to like and subscribe or else you can't watch my videos or anywhere. So, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I mean, but I'd really appreciate it if you did so. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> And don't be afraid to leave hate comments. Don't give me hate comments like you're so stupid and ugly and you're a five-year-old. Give me some negative, kind feedback that will give me suggestions for future videos. Thank you so much. Anyways, this video is pretty much over now, so thanks for watching. Bye.